We start from the assumption that monkeys, similar to humans, influence each other very much when they take decisions. How this happens, we don't know yet, but that's exactly what we want to understand. And for this purpose, we developed a new experimental platform where both actors can either work together or get into competition with each other. As we also want to understand how these decisions are taken at the level of the brain, we not only register the behavior of the animals, but also their brain activity. A large transparent touch screen, which can be used simultaneously from both sides, is the central element of the innovative experimental platform. The scientists first test themselves. They have a variety of questions. How do subjects behave when there is another subject? Where do they direct their attention? Are they influenced by the other's choices? Does one notice when the other is smarter? Will he wait for him to choose first? Or will the higher ranking subject choose first? This platform is an exciting possibility for us. Of course, we're building on what we already know from our other platforms, but putting together all these elements in a novel way and expanding our possibilities gives us brand new ideas and brand new possibilities of learning how information processing in a social context can be used by the brain. Humans, like monkeys, live in complex social groups. Their way of interacting plays a crucial role. What happens when we look each other in the eyes or observe each other's actions? With their innovative approach, the scientists expect a better understanding of social decisions in the future. So far, rhesus monkey Curious is still testing the decision task with the scientist. In the experimental control unit, all data streams come together with millisecond precision. Hand movements, eye movements, facial expressions. In the next development phase, the scientists will additionally record the activity of hundreds of neurons in different brain regions of two rhesus monkeys, or EEG signals of two humans during interaction. The new platform will not replace our existing experiments, but it will expand the scope of the research that we can do with it uh, substantially. For example, both actors will be able not just to focus on their own task, but they can also take into consideration social signals from the other partner, for example, facial expressions or eye movements. We constructed the platform in a way that is suited for monkeys as well as for humans, and that will allow us to actually compare the influence of social factors on decision-making in either of the two species. We would, even as humans, we can sit like this. Right? A critical so reviewing of the like first test. The platform needs to be optimally adjusted to the needs of the planned experiments in different species. This requires speed and precision. After all, novel insights into the neurobiology of decision-making should be gained. Processes which happen in fractions of a second between two individuals. Over the last decades, our knowledge about individual brains has increased substantially. Now is the time to look into the impact of social interactions on cognition. With the new platform, we exploit newest technologies to get better insights into cognitive processing in a social context. For example, we learn to understand how decisions depend on our mode of either cooperatively or competitively interacting with other individuals. We as primates are highly social beings and therefore the impact of social factors on our decision making is of key importance and with this platform we will learn to understand it.